You need to know your history. See, if you don't know your history, it could happen to you again. That's what I like about the Jews. The Jews never let you forget their history, do they? Never. And I know a lot about Jews because I live in Atlanta, Georgia. A lot of Jews live there. You know, they were on their way to Florida, but they run out of money in Atlanta. <laughs> Please take your seats. Take your seats. Are you ready to have a good time tonight? Yes. Now, listen, I don't, I don't have to tell you about what we're going to do tonight. I, did y'all come to church today? Yes. Are you, so you know I'm already full, right? <laughs> listen, if you didn't come to church, if y'all, who didn't come to church today? That's how many of y'all, this is your first time here tonight? Everybody in here came to church today? <laughs> now this church has gotten Christ. Some of y'all lying. All y'all people weren't here today. <laughs> but if you were here, did we have a good time this morning? <laughs> Bishop Blake, we want to thank you so much for being the leader of this community and the leader of this church. All the churches have gotten Christ. You're doing a wonderful job and you're doing it with a beautiful lady always next to you. And by next, <laughs> Lady May Blake. God bless you and the whole family and the whole congregation of West Angeles Church of God in Christ. This is the church is on the move for God. That's what they like to say. And I tell you what, wonderful things are happening here. And I'm just happy, I'm just happy to be here tonight. I'm not going to be out here long. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to tell no lies tonight. But it's easy to do in Los Angeles. Because I'm mad. I went to the grocery store. I went to Ralph's today. I had a pint of haagen ice cream, a loaf of bread, three bananas, six Coca-Colas, Wall Street Journal, and I had a can of Drano and a butterball turkey. And the cashier said, you want a bag? <laughs> Do I want a bag? What, 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 what am I supposed to get? In California, if you remind a town, they don't give you bags anymore. You walking out with groceries in your hand, tomatoes, and dropping eggs on the ground and people looking at you like you're crazy. There's something wrong with the people live out here. People saying stupid stuff. Somebody just ran in here a few minutes ago and said, it's raining outside. <laughs> well, where else would it be raining? Isn't that why you can't? Bishop, you got some crazy people in your church, okay? But I love it, and the people are here, and Thanksgiving, they lift their, oh, oh, listen, Thanksgiving, y'all had a good Thanksgiving? Yeah. That is so good. Did you eat? Somebody mentioned stuffing today. They was backstage talking about the stuffing. I don't know where they came up with that idea. Must have been a long time ago, long, really long, 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 long time ago, like 1986. <laughs> they had this bird base prepared, getting ready to put it in the oven. Some guy said, hold it. Wait a minute. Let's stuff some up that turkey behind. Let's put some wet bread up in there. Stuffing. I don't know who came up with that idea. Now, a lot of these people in here are mad also because they couldn't find a patty little bell sweet potato pie. <laughs> Anybody in here get the pie? Let me ask you all a question. Patty little bell, God bless her and her sweet potato pie for $3.48. Something is missing in that pie. I ain't crazy. How much better can this pie be? We black people been eating apple, sweet potato pie all our lives, 50, 70 years. Ain't Susanna, Miss Ruby, and May Blake, y'all been fixing sweet potato pies for years. What could be in this pie that we ain't already had? <laughs> ain't, but you know, 348, you know if you buy the crust in the pan, that's 248 right there. <laughs> they missing something in this pie, listen to me. Ain't but so much you can put in the pie. But I'm happy to be here. So many things have changed since we were here last year. And, and since we were here last year, we had a great time. And people are jumping the fence in Washington, D.C. And we got to do something about that security. And people are jumping the fence. And, and, and they're jumping the fence, right? And, and, and you know, it's white people jumping the fence, no black people. You know, and you ain't seen no black people jump the fence, have you? Because all the black people, we know they got them dogs. They teach those dogs to eat black people. No dogs going, I wish that Negro would touch that fence. They, listen to me. They teach those dogs to eat black people. They had to retrain those dogs. I'm serious. This, this stuff is true I'm making up. Listen. They trained those dogs to eat black people. They had to retrain those dogs not to eat President Obama. 
Y'all think I'm kidding. Listen, every time you see President Obama get off that helicopter, what is he doing? Those dogs are chasing him. They teach those dogs to eat black people. You never seen those two little girls out in the front yard playing, have you? They teach them to eat anything black. They got a dog in the whole dog named Bo. You ain't never seen that dog out walking like other dogs. I'll talk about President later because I got so much to talk about. We got to keep this show rolling. We got so many visitors in the house. And let me tell you something, I don't even know who to talk to. I saw a lady in the house earlier today, Kim Willie. I think I saw, is she in here? What did I say? Where are you? You know what? I'm going to be nosy today and I'm going to get off the stage. Stand up, Kim. Everybody else, you get ready because I might come to you. You have no idea who I might come to. So get your little story together. If I ask you what you do for a living and you drive a garbage truck, you're embarrassed, you don't know me. Tell me you're a doctor. You don't know me. Uh, and look who's with you, Kim. Y'all stand up. Y'all stand up. Come on down front and stand up. People, listen. Come on. They're from the TV show. Don't be scared. God loves you. Come on, all the TV guys, come down here for a second. We want to see you because I got to go. We got, you know, I'm like, a, I'm like a real preacher. We won't be long. Oh, Sorry, Bishop. Hi. Praise the Lord. She ain't never been to church. She don't even know how to say it. She don't even know how to say it. Praise the Lord. I wasn't prepared for church. But no, let me tell you, this is what's angular. You're always prepared for church here. No matter what you wear, come as you are, we like to have a good time. Wear what you got on, and you look good. Now you a whole different story. Let me talk to you for a second here. Come, come, come over here. Go ahead, just walk, 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 walk down that way and come back. Just keep, keep walking. What in the world? George. One of you preachers come up in, pray for him real quick. <laughs> Give him your name, tell him what you do. Well, see, I go here, and I'm here just about every Sunday, unless I'm out of town. I'm on Raising Whitley with Kim and Omarosa. And Omarosa, oh my God, Omarosa. You, you brought I bought them here. I said church. That was her cue right there that we were coming to church. I said church. Oh, he's telling on you now. He told you church. Amarosa, how are you doing? You know what, Wendell, we were coming anyway now. Yes. I was, we had to find a babysitter for Joshua. Joshua he yes. just turned four. Yes, we were. Wor I, was, um, I was plowing in the fields. <laughs> this girl going to stand right here in front of the bishop and lie. Right I you know, you know you're in church, right? That's okay. Many, many lies and stories been told in the church. Didn't you hear me just say the preacher get up there and say, I won't be long? That's a joke. <laughs> I'm trying to stop now. We're thinking, well, when are you going to sit down? But we're happy to. And the bishop, you, were you here this morning? I was here this morning. Y'all should have been here this morning. The bishops embarrassed me this morning. Yeah. I have never been embarrassed like that in my life. I'm sitting over against the wall by myself trying to, you know, just trying to hide. And Bishop Charles E. Blake made me stand up. But I'm going to get him back. <laughs> Y'all sit here and laugh now. All the ministers real quick stand up right now. All the, all the preachers, if you're a preacher, stand up. Not you, Bishop Blake, but everybody else. All you preachers. If y'all don't stand up, you know. <laughs> Bible say be obedient. All the preachers in here standing up. Look at you, all you ministers there. God bless you. Stay here with me, Kim. Let me tell you what I'm going to make them do. Y'all just, just, just stay standing for a second. Just stay standing for a second. All the preachers, stay standing. Just stay standing. Stay standing. Something good is going to happen to you. Stay standing. We want all you preachers to stay standing. You need to know how it feels. Stay standing. Stay standing. Always got us standing up every Sunday morning 10, and 10 or 15 times. Stay standing. Turn to your neighbor, to your neighbor. Look, we don't know these people, all right? Turn around, shake seven people's hands. We can't be shaking. We got the swine flu going on around here. You're a preacher? God bless you, preacher. We're going to do the ugly sweater shirt next Sunday. Sure. Just... Uh. He know, he know, don't put that on. Tweet. 
You can't take no ugly jacket and put it over the ugly sweater. Hey, y'all, I know I'm in church. I got to go, but we want to thank y'all. I'm coming around. All the preachers, y'all just stay standing. Y'all stay standing. Give the ministers a big hand. God bless you. We just have to. See, we love to have fun at West Angeles. We love to have, thank you so much. Give him a big hand. Give him a big hand. Raising Kim, raising, raising Whitley. God bless you. Came to say hello. I'm going to get out of here. We got so much to do tonight. We got, we, those are some laughs. We had a good time. How you kids doing on the front row? God bless the little kids. Just as cute as they want to be. We love the little kids. God bless you. Going to school tomorrow? That's good. Go, always go to school. I should have stayed in school longer. When I was a little boy, I didn't know what to do. I got so many D's and L's. My mother used to say, what are these D's and L's for? But I was thinking, I said, doing fine, doing fine, okay? <laughs>